Absolutely glued. John's playing with his belly. See you later, John. Old boss man's turned up. Ah. Monday morning, just coming up for about quarter six. I'm just gonna go meet Luke now at the office. We'll give you an update when we get to site. Morning, welcome to the big career. Morning, mate. Can I just get a toffee latte, please? Do you want to yeah. uh, Can you make that too, sorry? Yeah, no worries. Lovely, cheers. I'm going to change this board. Me and Luke come and tested it a couple of months ago. Luckily we labelled it all up. So I'm going to write that down on a pad, number all these to what I want um, roughly in my new board. I think there's quite a bit of length from the cables and the meter cupboard's just on the other side of this wall so I might re-pull some new tails down there if they're sort of a bit of slack on them. So I will set you up on a time lapse. So, got all my herbs dressed in, got the bonding dressed in and labelled. So I'm left with all my lives and neutrals all numbered up as to the old board where I want them. So I'm just going to work my way through, put my RCBOs in, I'll leave my tails down one end. Only thing that's a bit annoying is it's all coming through one hole so it's just going to be very built up in this area. Um, so I'm going to have fun there getting the breakers in but I'll try to pull the higher numbers round to one side so they're out of my way. Okay, so board is done. I'm gonna leave that open for the minute. I'm not gonna fire seal it because I think we're gonna be back to do some solar and you can see through to the wall on the other side. I'm quite happy with the outcome so um, took all the earths along and up bonding over on this side and then I've literally just had to come in and work my way along left as much slack as I can and then I've had to take the neutral leads around the back and up so Luke said why am I using different colors not only does it help identify but it also these neutral leads are different sizes in thickness so you your six amps will be a bit thinner than your 32s and these different colored ferrules are actually for different sizes so just doubles up, it's nice and easy to check. I'll do some RCD readings first, get them all wrote down, and then I can put the towels away in the meter cupboard and get it powered up. Just temporary room on a bit of paper. Unfortunately, this one here was failing on the test button. Luckily, I've had a spare on the van, so I've just had to turn it all off again, take the buzz bar out, replace this one, so I'm just gonna get another test on that. And then hopefully that is that board finished with I can get the cover back on last thing through this room just need to change that unswitch fuse spur over change this switch over then that's that little cupboard done with and um, we can mark it off the list and work our way through to the next bits guys you just missed John standing up on a sofa you screaming said, like yeah, a little I didn't, girl. Even, I didn't even cock that you was actually standing <laughs> on the sofa <laughs> standing I lifted, my, I lifted my legs up there's a massive spider <laughs> <laughs> Look at it go! As usual, there's no difference with John. You've, you can always see a torch shining from his head. <laughs> I think we're going to go take him up and put him in Ruben's room ready for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. We haven't had dinner yet, but John's hitting him Pringles hard. <laughs> Man, so, um... Day two, we've got all our materials in the garage. So what I've done, I've gone through the list with John and we've just put everything we need for today in a bucket. We're going to go around and just swap all them over, add some more sockets. Um, if Ruben ever turns up, 
we'll get him to do some bits, but at this rate, I think he's left the company. <laughs> I've printed off a list from what was on Trader Fire, and we can just work through it and just highlight off what we've done. Luke's forgot his jeans, so uh, he's going to be going out in his as the George jeans later from the supermarket. You packed my bag. Like, you packed it and left it there. It's still your fault. Right, while well, Luke's having a domestic, so I'm going to get my tools ready. Hopefully we can get the Alex just completely ticked off so the rest of the week we don't have to come back in here and we can concentrate on the main house. Okay, so just gone around the whole annex unscrewed all the accessories they're all going to get swapped over for new john's got his little tool bucket loving it hellman's um <laughs> but before yeah, i don't know you can just see luke down there he's just getting the board ready to change first things first before we do anything got luke to turn the power back on <laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna get the kettle on make ourselves a cuppa and then power's gonna be off for the day and uh, we'll go around and do all the work all right, just a quick one. So this is more for anyone starting off or apprentices. If you're ever changing accessories, do not throw away your old 3.5 screws because if you can replace them for the new ones, then obviously do it. But you'll thank yourself rather than throwing these in a bin because you might have ones that are a certain depth, they've already been cut to size they may just go in a lot easier than the new ones and then you'll want to reuse the old ones. So just keep hold of them. And then obviously if you don't use them, you can either throw them or what I like to do is just keep a little pouch in my tool bag, put a few in there as spares, always come in handy. One of the things I picked up on the EICR is this smoke alarm. Someone's been lazy as and just, that's the old base. So it was already terminated into these connector blocks and they've literally just taken that off the old plug and terminated it in, screwed that on just a bit yee-haw. So uh, gonna take all this off, remove the old base and then get this mounted up properly just so it's nice and flush. JCT have sent this pallet of lights. So we're basically just gonna unbox it, see what's in there and to be honest, I need a bulkhead for the bathroom, so I'm going to be digging for that. Yeah, right, so it looks like this is the bulkhead. So I'll go fit that in the bathroom, see how we get on with it. It's saying that it's two and a half times faster. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> um, basically, this one's come all separate, so the sort of fascia comes separate in a pack. You can see here that the gear tray was separate too. The quality of the plastic looks quite nice. It's got like a nice white finish and doesn't look like cheap plastic. Gear tray doesn't look too bad. And you don't actually need a screwdriver or a tool to get it out. It just clicks into these four tabs. You've got four holes there. So that's just a case of clicking in and clicking out. It's quite good, you've got a little, one of these little hooks on here. So you, on the ceiling, you can hook that on and leave that hanging out your way while you get these into the push fits. Another good thing about the gear tray is you've got the uh, driver on it already and it's to one side. Some manufacturers you'll find they'll put the driver in the middle and it totally throws your light off because you go to put it on the ceiling and if you're replacing an old light and you want to drill your hole there you can't because the driver's there so you have to drill the hole there and then you'll end up finding all your lights are off centre which is a pain. At first looks it's looking alright so I'll go take the light down in the bathroom, get our holes drilled and we'll see how it actually is to work with. Bulkhead is up. If Nathan's clever, he'll edit this in to make it look really cool. If he's not, he'll just laugh, do it in as a joke. <laughs> Basically, that's the light up there, so when it's turned on, I'll give you a little look. I like the feature, the clip that hangs this onto the base, so you can hang it down while you're connecting the cables up, quite like that. I like all the different cable entries, you've got options. Overall, not a bad light fitting. Alright, it's uh, Wednesday morning, we've 
turned up to site. Ruby was just talking to herself in the mirror. <laughs> Basically, uh, we're going to try concentrate on the whole ground floor today. All these down lights on the ICR, they had sort of poor terminations. We're just going to swap them out, put some nice new JCC V50s in. We're going to change the ones in the kitchen area. And then if you come through to the utility, that light's going to be gone. And we're going to put a row of down lights in here as well. We'll just uh, show you how it all goes. All the down lights are changed over in the kitchen and living room area now. Look quite nice, the JCCs, they've got like, they set back a bit with the lamp. They're just set into the ceiling a bit more. They look so smart on a white ceiling. Um, so that's them rooms done. Just gonna stop for some lunch. Me and John have finished off doing these. Unfortunately, the joists were going that way. Um, so as you can see, we've had to do a few holes just to drill through the joist. You don't really need it too far over because you're going to lose a lot of light above them cupboards. So that's another job ticked off the list. Go on, show us your car. It's my car. Hey. <laughs> See you later, John. Okay, it's the end of the week. Friday, me and Luke just on our way back to Cambridge. John's behind us. Um, we got two vans full of rubbish we're gonna go drop back to the wholesalers we've got some bins there done all right this week got quite a lot done jordan's gonna come up tuesday just to do a solar survey so maybe we'll try get some behind the scenes footage of him doing that hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far and we'll catch you next week Little cheeky uppy. Um, took this wall light down, absolutely glued, glued to the end of the earth up on this wall, which ain't the best. So, I'm gonna try to scrape off what I can, fill round, and then we have got this little light with, gonna have some GU 10s in it up there. Got the old World Cup ready. This room has been an absolute pig if you can see we've gone along we had to drill through there drill through there that's where the original light was drill through there and then we thought that's all right we'll go down follow the joists down these ways but when we went to rod there's actually a triple joist there so we had to cut them out get across and then we've had to go all the way back through the joist so it's been very time consuming but we're on the last one, get that light up, get the hole patched back in, do the small hallway and the bathroom while glancing over the, at the uh, footy for a bit. What's the weather saying? Grey and miserable. At least it's not freezing cold like it was this morning. That was absolutely Baltic. Come on, England. Right. <laughs> oh, stud buddies have worked. And we've actually have come into a little bit of luck. I don't know how well you can see up here. <laughs> Well, he's got his hands stuck in the ceiling. Classic. Hey, oh. I'm just gonna make that off into a, a turn light. Oh. Ish bash bosh. We're gonna try and get some B roll. So here's some B roll of John's face. <laughs> you know that's gonna be used. <laughs> John's playing with his belly down there. All right, guys, so we are back at the Airbnb. Customers have kindly fed us. Just had dinner with them, which was very nice of them. Even gave us some leftovers. Have that later on. You've seen the footage, but this is the stuff. Well, you probably haven't seen, but we have to come back and upload it all onto the laptop. Put it all into little folders. John's trying to act like a lad and say he's having a cheeky beer, but really he's just that kettle on. He's just made a cup of tea. He's, and I've had milk and biscuits. He's, he's making everyone horlicks. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, upload this and then bed. Same again tomorrow. Breathing. All right, good morning, guys. Get Jordan Luke out Luke and there, uh, John and Ruben. So basically, as you can see, old boss man's turned up. Uh, 
<laughs> Doing a solar survey. John, John's gone for chest cam. Basically, uh, what, what day is it? Tuesday, week two? <laughs> We've got all the stud buddies up on the ceiling showing where the joists are. John's just setting out the lasers, dust sheets down. But yeah, they're great just for chucking on the ceiling and easily being able to see where your joists are. Then you can kind of make a bit of a plan where to space your down lights. This room's going to be the same. Take that middle light down, another six in here. Another bedroom here, so that light's going to come down. Another six in here. And then this bathroom, we're going to take that light down. I think we're going to do four in that area. And then where this comes out, we're just going to stick one in the little hallway. That's the plan. We're going to try and get this whole floor done today. And, and I'm not going to time that to you. Gonna... There's Jordan getting filmed. Oh, look at this, being filmed from three different angles. Jeez. This is slightly intimidating. <laughs> Hello, dear viewers. Uh, Video point five is there. Just bang on the stud. If we bring bring them back three centimeters each or way, or in a bit. Basically, half of our measurement of the walls is hitting the stud, so we're going to readjust. Six hundred's okay for me on this one. Yeah, six hundred's bang in the middle here, but I don't have anything to mark the ceiling with. Maybe less than that, right? That's in the same mark as I. Just of course it is. If you it's think still about it. <laughs> Well, the centre of whatever oh. Mark is going to do is going to be that joist. Well, day. Well, you know, we're better off if we just move my one in and leave your one that. Or yeah, that, my that means closer. we can't have. <laughs> <We're such laughs> <one. laughs> we move these two in 10 centimetres and then we and, and it's just <laughs> the same measurement. Of course, it's going to be the same measurement. <laughs> I was like, I was like, that's exactly what we worked from before. So, me and Leo are cracking on in here, and the boss man showed up. And pinched all of our labour. Oh, that was yeah. I was just messing with you. He's, he's, he's gonna, I said to the audience, like, I'll, um, I'll I've got three options. I can either like, get rid of you. <laughs> See, this is, this is what happens when the boss shows up. I don't know, he's got everyone helping him out. <laughs> We're straggling on. Cutting our hands on. We, we thought we were going to get all these rooms done and everyone's going around picking and lowering your throat. <laughs> Sunshine has come out and made an appearance, so me and Luke have jumped outside and we're getting these outside lights done that we've been wiring this morning. So, put a censored floodlight up there, there's going to be the bins along here, so obviously when they come out, it's just going to light up this area for them. Luke's sticking some Philips Hue lights up around the outside, so we'll get a nice little bit of footage. I'll just show you this. JCC flood I've been putting up, it's quite nice to work with. So we've got a little 10 watt floodlight, nice little uh, light to work with. So I've stuck a little Whisker 206 box just behind, just need to give that a little bit of a clean with a big white. But it's nice, like this doesn't get in your way, you can drill that up. Um, so if you see, you can get in there nicely with your drill. Um, I'm going to have this pointing quite low so it's covering the bins. Got your sensor, you can literally move almost anywhere you want. I'm going to do it facing down to this little alleyway so as they walk up to the bins that's going to turn on. I've done the setting so it comes on just sort of as it's getting dark. Oh. 
after we <laughs> you his legs kicking in the air. <laughs> no, we're every I'm wearing the same shirt in like That's your years. that's a you problem, mate. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no. No, but, no, people must have house shirts, right? I mean, am I the only person that has a house shirt? Do you want every t-shirt you see wears a house shirt? Yeah. Basically, John's trying to what? wriggle out of the fact work. he's wearing the same t-shirt. No, but genuinely, I get in from work, have a shower, and I put them clean And then puts his dirty t-shirt on. But no, but they're clean, because I literally don't leave the house. Oh, this is and like his fed. dirty water teaspoon all over again. Go <laughs> <laughs> show the teaspoon. <laughs> Oh. So, John, John puts his teaspoon in a in a glass of water, and then says, "Right, everyone use this teaspoon." And me and Luke avoid using it and get one out the uh, out the dryer, get a clean one. Look at that! That used to be clear water. No, but what you need to John's, see is John's dipping that in teas and then dipping it back. No, but viewers, but what then, you need to see is my teacup. So what you need to see is this is the teacup he drinks out of. Let's have a look. Oh, that's no, 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 no. Is that, that since you left college or? <laughs> this is actually. I think I got this for Christmas. So yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But you, it adds to the flavour. Do you think? Oh, that's years of tea right there. You know, mm, fresh. I mean, not so fresh. All right. Good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. It is Thursday week two, so it's last day today. Um, basically, there's not a lot to do, a few little bits. We're just gonna go around, snag the whole house. So we'll probably start on the top, go all the way, every room, check everything's done. If anything needs a little bit of filler or touching up, um, this is our list. So just gonna go through each floor, each room, Go through what we've done, double check it's all good. Got all this rubbish to take back to Cambridge. So we're gonna load the vans up with that. Have a good old tidy in the garage. Go see how John's getting on, he's just up here fixing a uh, break in one of the cables we found yesterday. Oh, he's listening to some tunes in his AirPods. Actually, it's an audio book. <laughs> He's, he's loving his book in his van, so he's he's trying to get caught up at work on it. But join that cable where there was a cut in it, get that filled, and then yeah, like I say, we'll go around each room, just make sure we're happy before we drive back to Cambridge. The one day we've not got a lot of work to do is actually dry, so typical. All right, that's it for today. Um, just having a tidy up, getting all our gear together so it's not all messy hope you've enjoyed what you've seen hopefully we'll be doing more interesting videos like this and it's been quite good being able to show you a bit more behind the scenes footage and i just want to also thank jcc for sending all the lights it's been great to work with they've definitely improved from what i used to install so um thanks to them and i hope you've enjoyed it